Now we have to discuss variable mass system. Variable mass system is a system where mass is varying with time. Mass will be varying with time. The variation can be of two types. Either mass is increasing with time or it is decreasing with time. Mass will be either ejected or either it will be added. For example, suppose this is a rocket, right? The gas is ejected. So here the mass is falling. Mass is falling. Then we can have an example. Suppose you have the cart and you have a stationary hopper and say you have some sand particles. You have sand filled with sand and sand is falling on the your uh, the sand is falling on this cart. So as the cart moves the mass of this whole cart is increasing with time. It's increasing. All right. So <clears throat> this is the case where mass is falling. This is the case where mass is increasing. In all these cases where mass is getting ejected or mass is getting added, you have apart from all the real forces that you are applying in order to study the mechanics of these systems, variable mass systems, where mass is either, either mass is either uh, decreasing or it is increasing. You have apart from all the force like mg, normal reaction, all that, you apply one more force which is called thrust force. Thrust force is Ft. That is equal to, you'll apply thrust force and thrust force is equal to Vr dm by dt. From where this thrust force comes? Thrust force is coming from the law of conservation of momentum. This gas is ejected with high velocity. As a result of which this uh, rocket gets a recoil. When the gas is ejected with high velocity, the aero, the, this rocket is getting a recoil in upward direction. So that's the third thrust force. That is the thrust force. Thrust force is something like recoil. This is here the aircraft is getting a thrust force. The rocket gets a thrust force. Here the mass is falling. So here also this fall of mass on this uh, surface is giving a thrust force. Right? So this is a thrust force. So apart from all the forces, you will be applying thrust force on the parent body. Thrust force on the parent body. Parent body means the body in which we are interested. Body in which body of which we want to study the mechanics. Like here you have ejected body in the form of gases and you have a rocket. So we are interested in motion of the rocket. So rocket is our parent body. Here you have <coughs> the cart and the sand particles. We are not interested in the motion of sand particle. We are interested in the cart. So cart is our parent body. Parent body. Right. So what is this VR? So this is thrust force. VR is relative velocity of added or ejected mass with respect to the parent body. Relative velocity of added or ejected mass with respect to the parent body. dm by dt is the rate of change of mass of the parent body. Rate of change of mass of the parent body that is dm by dt. Rate of change of mass of the parent body. All right. So there is a thrust force. Like here, say in the case of rocket, your dm by dt is negative. dm by dt is negative. And we have the relative velocity of added or ejected mass with respect to parent body. Here the mass is falling. So the gas is being ejected. This is the, the gas is being ejected. So if I want to find the relative velocity of ejected mass with respect to parent body, I have to put myself on the rocket. If I want to find relative velocity of ejected mass with respect to parent body, 
let me put myself on the rocket right and then the velocity in ejected mass which I see is the relative velocity if you want to find relative velocity of suppose you want to find relative velocity of 1 with respect to 2 this is equal to velocity of e of 1 4 1 in the rest of 2 of velocity of 1 as seen by observer on body 2 velocity of 1 as seen by observer on the body 2 right means if you want to find relative velocity of ejected mass with respect to the rocket I put the observer on the rocket then the velocity of the ejected mass being seen by this observer is going to be the relative velocity so he'll be seeing this ejected mass in downward direction so we are realizing downward direction and dm by dt is negative dm by dt is negative means vr dm by dt dm by dt is negative so ft will be opposite to vr because vr is in downward direction dm by dt is negative so your thrust force will be in upward direction here the thrust force is going to be in upward direction and as a result of which this uh, rocket is moving upward rocket gets a thrust force in downward direction by ejecting these gases by ejecting these gases in downward direction it gets a thrust force in the upward direction it gets a thrust force in the upward direction so that's the that's the that's how you analyze the motion of a variable mass system right this is how you analyze the motion of a variable mass system apart from all other forces you apply this thrust force also okay like in case of rocket if suppose I want to analyze the motion of rocket say this is your rocket the gas is ejected say it is ejected with velocity vr right it is ejected with velocity vr so net force acting on the rocket is going to be acting on rocket is one is minus mgk that is in downward direction if i take this as positive this is z direction right so minus mgk and vr dm by dt so vr is if i write in vector terms vr is minus vrk or this will be minus mgk so minus vr dm by dtk so that will give rise to mdv by dt minus mg minus dm by dt right so if i divide by m i get dv by dt minus g vr 1 by a dm dt or this can written as dv equals to minus g dt minus vr dm by m so if i integrate on both side then it will be say at uh, t equal to 0 suppose the velocity is v naught and at t equal to t let's say velocity is v 0 t and at t equal to t naught say velocity is m, mass is m naught and at t equal to t let's say mass is capital m so that is v minus v naught gt vr log m upon m naught so this is v naught minus gt vr log m by m naught 
So that's going to be the velocity. This is how the velocity of the rocket varies. This is how the velocity of the rocket varies, right? So the rocket is going to move with high velocity if this uh, VR, the, the ejected mass, the mass ejected at a very rapid velocity, VR, right? And it also depends on m naught by m. Sorry, I've written wrong. This is m naught by m. The higher the rate at which the rock mass is ejected, higher is the thrust force and higher is the velocity which it, is, it gains. So this is how, this is the motion of the rocket. This is all about the motion of rocket. Okay. We'll go for the next question.